This, the new album Brat by pop star Charlie XCX, has been a cultural zeitgeist this summer. The album's cover features a now iconic low resolution font on a lime green background, and it also had a pretty successful marketing campaign with it. Lots of brands decided that they would get themselves involved with the Brat theme. Well, today the singer posted on social media to say goodbye forever, Brat Summer. I've been speaking to Christina Solova, social media manager at the Marketing Optimist, to ask her what Brat was all about. This, the new album Brat by pop star Charlie XCX, has been a cultural zeitgeist this summer. The album's cover features a now iconic low resolution font on a line. See, it's a club aesthetic, so Brat is a club album really and it's promoting um, like the messaging and the lifestyle but it really took off because of the marketing really of the album the lime green mm. um, cover with Ariel font that says brat on it the kind of reason behind the campaign being really successful is that first of all it's really replicable there was a brat generator where you could write anything in on a website and it puts it in that stretched out Arial font and it's very striking isn't it i mean it, it is something that catches you straight away it has been incredibly successful what do you think made it so successful it's the antithesis of the really structured world that that a lot of people live in nowadays and this was something totally different kind of signifies that shift from overly polished, overly produced social media content. People want to see authentic content on social a really, really long time. And before the album launched, sort of managed to create that kind of anticipation um, for it. A really good example is if your brand had any any green in its <laughs> branding, like Air Baltic did. So Air Baltic renamed themselves Air Brat um, on TikTok, on Twitter, everywhere. But also if you have the the word brat in your product, like a company that uh, makes sausages did a brat worst <laughs> billboard um, in Canada, I think it was. Also, um, a battery company did bratteries, bright green batteries. Kamala Harris embraced it as well, didn't she? Because, you know, oh, yeah, if, something, if something's so popular, people will embrace it. Does that help or does it not help? Because Kamala Harris is not quite the generation that maybe this was aimed so at. It's not the generation that this was aimed at. However, it's been really good at kind of really prompting Gen Z to engage with politics, which is really counterintuitive. You wouldn't think that it would, but and Kamala has been a very sort of memeable personality. So if you're on if you're on Twitter and if you're on TikTok, you'll see a lot of Kamala edits. So this the edit started before the Brat trend. So I think Kamala's marketing team kind of saw that Gen Z were really warming up to her as a as a kind of personality figure. The response to Charlie XCX tweeting Kamala is Brat was incredibly was, warm wasn't... changed the um cover to camel hq and brat font and the lime green and they've been doing the team themselves have been doing edits is it over and i mean it's easy for for charlie xx it's over but if so many people love it is it going to be that easy to disappear Obviously, trends have a bit of a life cycle on, on the internet, don't they? So I think the album has been super popular, so people will continue to kind of listen listen to it and there will be still be Charlie XCX Brat-themed change the um, cover to Camel HQ and Brat font and the lime green. And they've been doing the team themselves